Okay, so right now we have created a generic method which is kind of working pretty perfect. So, uh, what's the next thing? Uh, so the next thing is we're going to come back to our sorting, a comparable comparator and sort method. And the reason why I told you uh, and why I taught you how to create a generic method right here, because might be uh, if somebody is watching without having any information on generics, uh, it will be a little uh, difficult to understand comparable and comparator and obviously uh, if you see the syntax of the sort method so that's why uh, right now we are prepared well we have uh, we have done some hands on right here and we are ready to go for the next thing which is sorting a custom offset or sorting your customized offset right let's go into that okay so right now let's come back to the sorting stuff so let's say right now uh, so guys, if you see this class called string sorting demo here, we're adding some music to our array list uh, We're just giving the title here, right? This is just the this is just my music title, right? So let's say now my clients come back and he basically told me that okay Avilash, I want to store some more information about my song. I just don't want to store the title I also want to store who is actually the artist for that particular song and also i also want to store that when was that particular song released so basically i want to store three different information about my song who who is the artist the release year and obviously the title the, the title of the particular song so i said not a big deal like i have to create my custom class then and uh, so what i can do right now is i can basically create a class uh, right now um, let's say uh, I'm creating a new uh, class here and this class name will be obviously um, obviously song class okay let me put it in a different package let's say API and uh, this is my song class let me zoom it a bit okay this looks good and let me minimize it okay now as I said in the song class I basically uh, I'll be storing three different things so I'll say private uh, string title and I'll say private string artist sorry small a that's good and the last thing that I want to store here is private int uh, really let's say private integer okay uh, I'll say year I mean this year st uh, stands for the year of release okay okay so now as you can see all my fields or properties which I have created here are private so I can I can create some public getter and setter to access this variable outside of my class so what I can do here in Windows I can uh, click alt shift s r obviously it's not, not it's not working right now in this keyboard okay so I can go to source I can go to generate getters and setters to create some getters and setter for my class and I'll click on select all and I want the getter and setter for everything so I'll hit ok here so now you can see um, you know I do have the getter and setter created for all these fields that's cool uh, that's nice right now so what I can do I can go back to or go back to my um, you know project explorer and here right now I can create a new class uh, let's say mp4 Okay, I will create a class called mp4 and here, oh, sorry, I have to reformat it, sorry, rename it, so refactor, rename, I want to rename it as mp4 and uh, in this mp4 class basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a, I'm going to create a playlist, okay, so the first thing is I'll have a main method here and inside the main method, I'll create a array list. So I'll create a array list, and this list will be uh, storing all my songs. So it will be of song type, music list, uh, because it's going to store all my musics and new array list. And there you go. And now I have to I have to import this particular song class here as well, which is there in my API package. So there 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 it goes the import. 
and everything uh, looks good right now so uh, so let me save everything i don't know why i'm getting this error right here why i'm getting this error probably for nothing it's just id bug control shift f so i can see there is no error right here so what i can do i can close this and can reopen this class again i can do control shift r i can i can hit command shift i and i can search for the mp4 class and i can, and I can reopen it and this time i think there won't be any error as you can see uh, that's good okay so right now i have a music list created which is of type song so now let me create few song objects and after that i'll add all those objects to my music list so first of all let me uh, uh, let me create few song objects okay so right now as you can see on my screen right now i have created few song objects right here and uh, in in my song constructor i basically pass a title let's say take me to your heart the artist name here and when does this particular song release but i'm getting an error right here because i do not have this particular constructor in my song class so basically i need to create a constructor in my song class so i can uh, do a quick fix right here i can i can put my cursor here and i can say create constructor song uh, which will basically take string string and integer as argument i'll hit uh on this uh, link and there you go so i have a constructor created here so basically what i can do here i can i can change it to string title and string artist and also integer let's say integer uh let's say year of release okay and here i'll just assign everything this dot title equal to title now this dot artist equal to artist and uh, this dot year equal to year okay that's good now i have a constructor ready here in my song class so basically right here there won't be any error okay so right now i do not have any error on my class so i can go ahead and i can add all these songs to my music list so let me use the add method of our list so let's say music list dot add and i can add the song song one and there you go you can give a semicolon i can select everything and i can copy this and i can paste it few times here and i'll change the reference right so let's say song one now this one is song two song three song four and song five now all my songs that i have uh, created here all these objects that i have created i have added it to my music list that's good so so right now uh, let's say i want to i want to i want to iterate over this music list and i want to see whether all these songs are present in my uh, list or not so what i can do i have already created a method there in my my utils class uh, so I can do my utils and uh, my utils dot uh, iterate list. It, I, I told you right, it can iterate any kind of list. So any list I'll pass on this music list right here to this method. And hopefully right now this iterate list will work fine. So so you remember right, we have created this iterate list method a couple of minutes before, and this method right now can take any list and can iterate over this right right now this t will become song okay now this type will become song will pass a list of song and it will now uh, you know iterate over it and pin it to my console right so now let me go back to my previous class okay so here right now if i run this particular class now let's see whether all these things is getting locked to my console or not but what is this so now basically i'm getting the object reference instead of all this information so i want whenever i will you know print my song object it should not give the reference of the object rather i want it should give me uh, the content of the object right so if you see here in the myutils.java it is basically printing the temp right the temp is what uh, the t will be song right here it will be song here it will be song so uh, the song reference whenever we are printing it, it it is basically printing the object reference now we want to print the uh, information about the song class so 
here I came to my song class right now and in my song class I'm going to override the two string method here so what I'll do again I'll go to source I'll go to generate a two string and I want all this information to be printed so I'll hit OK so now my ID will generate a two string method for me so as you can see this is the two string method let me do enter here so basically it is printing the title artist and the year information so let me do com com uh, command s to save everything now let me go to mp4.java and now let me run this particular program again and let's see what is going to happen now see uh, it's magic right so now whatever the information that we have uh, regarding our song object that is getting printed right here you can see the title is take me to your heart and the other information like artist and the year is also getting printed in the console so just like that love me like you do uh, just a dream as long as you love me is the song name and the artist is backstreet voice and uh, year is let's say 2008 this song came out so that's good but if you see right now these songs are not uh, sorted right take me to your heart is t then this is s this is l uh, this is j and this is a so basically this particular song uh, should be a top in the list because uh, as the title is started from the alphabet a correct so to do that again we can use sort method right so i'll do what collections i'll do collections dot sort okay now you can see this sort right now takes any kind of list uh, you can see in the bracket it has a t okay t means any type okay it can be integer type it can be string type, it can be float type, it can be my customized class, it may be song type, okay? So now let me, uh, you know, pass on the list right here, we, uh, the array list, which is song type, okay? Let me do command C here and command V here, okay? There you go. So now you can see there is a problem, right? Now the sort method is giving us a error. Why we're getting an error right here? Now, this is the most important thing that now we have to understand. So basically, whenever I'm creating an array list of song, which is my custom object, which is my custom class, this song is my custom class. So this particular list, whenever I'm passing it to sort, I'm getting an issue. It's not able to compile, right? Even if, if I'm going to run this particular program, see what, 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 what is the error that we're getting in the console, right? So now if we go ahead and proceed here, you can see uh, sort list uh, this particular method in the collection class is not applicable for the arguments. Okay, it is not applicable for the arguments called array list of song, which is we are passing right here. Okay, so the most important thing, why this sort is giving us a problem? Why it is giving us a compile time error?